What's going on everybody? My name is Brandon Cook. It's been a while since I made a hair video. Obviously, as you can see, I need a haircut. Guess what I noticed? I noticed that Grey Clips is having a like a $6 haircut special. So I'm gonna go there and see what they can do. I normally haven't been to Grey Clips since I was a little kid. Um, but we're gonna see um, what they can do. Here's an example of what my hair looks like right now. Let's look at the back. Okay, so let's see what they can do with this. Huh, $6.99, huh? They say you get what you pay for, so let's see what I'm paying for. Alright, so here we go. Alright guys, so conclusion. Remember what it looked like before? This is what it looks like now. As you can see here, she added in a little part, a little, little hard part there. I'm not sure what number she used on the sides, okay? Here is the back. Here is the back. Man, I gotta get that. Y'all see that? Gotta get that. Okay? You guys, my hair is like, I'm getting gray hair. Should I do a just for men's tutorial? <laughs> All right, so honest review. The pros, Gray Clips has multiple locations. They have a lot of variety of products in store. They have a very clean environment and they have good friendly staff. They also have a haircut standard that all the cosmetologists that work at Great Clips have to have. The cons would be that they don't use a straight razor to give you like a sharper lineup. A lot of them are technically not barbers, they're cosmetologists. So uh, some information that I learned is that in order to be a barber, you need to have your barber's license so you can use a straight razor. And they don't do eyebrows. Like typically at my, some of my other barbers use a straight razor when going along my beard line and go across my nose and my and my lip and my hairline and the back. And sometimes if it's a bald fade, they would use a straight razor to, to bring that in closer. But I would say for $6.99, this is a pretty good haircut. I'd say so. This is not a sponsored video. This is an honest review. So if you see any of those great clips $6.99 signs, check it out if you're willing to take the risk. My barber is an hour away and I needed a haircut pretty bad as you can see. So I figured I'd take the risk. Here's a story time for you. So the reason I even went to Great Clips in general is because when I was younger, I went to Great Clips a couple of times and every time I got a haircut from Great Clips, my hairline was doing this. Like, I mean, it already is kind of whatever, but my hairline literally, like I had short hair and I was brushing it forward, but the hairline literally would be like, like this and the kids be like yo your hairline busted bro blah, blah 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 and so from that point on i was like i'm not going to great clips anymore um you know after you do that for a while and uh you started getting those kind of results you don't want to go to great clips but giving great clips another chance i would say they did a pretty good job and they got pretty good products the people are nice it's a clean environment and uh you can do an early check-in online some places you go to barbershop you gotta wait for a while unless you use the app like booksy where you can book in advance but i like that i was able to um i like that i was able to book online and it showed me the amount of minutes that i was going to be waiting before i was able to be seen as soon as i got into great clips they saw me immediately there was no um hold ups and no anything like that oh some more pros would be like the clippers that they use i did not get any nicks i did not my scalp doesn't burn or i didn't have any cuts on me or anything like that um it felt soft my hair feels good um, <laughs> they have lots of products. It's in convenient locations. Um, all the people that work there are cosmetologists and have went to school for hair. Um, they keep up their training on YouTube and they keep up training with their staff so that they're up to par with trending hairstyles and things of that nature. So overall, I would say I give Grey Clips a A. The cosmetologist who was doing my hair named Megan, well, I asked her about some of the stigmas that people think about Grey Clips. A lot of people think if you go to Grey Clips, you know, you must not be able to cut hair and things of that nature. But she's been cutting hair for 10 years and she's in management. Like with Grey Clips, there's a consistency. You have your clientele and you're in the chain. So there's that job security there. You don't have to rent a booth and things like that. So pretty interesting, pretty cool stuff. Now, as an honest review, I do have to mention the haircut itself was $6.99. But to do a beard trim was $6. Okay. And then I left a $5 tip. 
but technically the cost of the haircut itself is $6.99. So just thought I'd mention that as well. Some critiques that I would say about the haircut is I would say if I could get it like a bald fade, you know, that'd be better with the straight razor, straight razor along the beard line, straight razor here. I'll get my eyebrows like a little edged up a little bit, um, have them come up here with the beard and stuff like that and maybe do a, a more of a fade transition. But I think overall it looks good. So I have no complaints. Um, no complaints. All right, you guys, take it easy. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more of my videos. I have plenty of hair tutorials and hair videos on this channel that you guys can also check out. Leave a comment below commenting your thoughts on great clips and this video. Add me on Facebook, that's below. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram so we can be in contact. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Ooh, it feels so hot dang cold out here. It's freaking 95 degrees. What the frostbite is going on out here? I give up, I give up. And, and where did this dog come from?